Hi, Alan Hadley with My Photo Networks. Thanks for joining me for this brand new series, Photo Spotlight. In the Photo Spotlight, what we're going to do is actually focus on a particular subject matter to help you maximize your opportunity when shooting the same subject. Now, our first video of this series is going to be focused on specifically barns, old dilapidated buildings, anything that is falling down or has some age to it. Everyone shoots this type of subject, but how do you maximize your opportunity? That's what we're going to discuss in this particular video. Now before we get started, there's a couple of things I want you to keep in mind while you're watching this video tutorial. Perspective, light, quality of light, and how that light's affecting your subject. The focal length of lens that you actually use, and the choice of ISO and shutter speed. These things all come together to actually make or break your particular image. We're going to focus on texture and light. So with that said, let's get started. Okay, we are located at our first shot and there's a couple of things I want to talk to you about in reference to this particular image. When you're shooting uh, barns or old buildings and that type of thing, you always want to try to find the best perspective. Um, your perspective is probably the most important thing other than the light uh, that you're going to be able to uh, use to, to maximize your image. Now, granted, this particular shot is more of a landscape type shot. It's not a detail shot or something that we're actually coming in close to the subject. But I walked around this particular subject in different areas to look at and find the best perspective. Now if you'll notice the sun is actually coming from our left and that left hand sun uh, direction is actually creating shadow which is in front of us. So we're actually looking into the shadow which is giving us a certain level of depth. Now if you'll notice the barn behind the small building it is full shadow on the front but the roof is lit. So what it's doing is basically giving us this complex, if you will. Um, we've got two or three buildings here that are connected together, and uh, the perspective is rather low. We have the, you know, the flowers in the, in the foreground that's leading up to the shot, and then, of course, we have a little bit of sky. What you don't want to do is place your barn or your building directly in the center of your frame where there's even amounts of sky and foreground. You want to use that composition uh, the best way that you can to create a pleasing scene. One of the things I want to point out to you is that I shot this a couple of different ways. Our exposure was actually um, f22 at 1 8th of a second, 1 15th of a second, and 1 30th of a second. Now, what I did is I changed my color temperature. I went from auto white balance to shady, which gave us a little warmer kind of a feel. Okay, what I've done is I've actually moved down uh, the road that I'm shooting this from just a little bit to get a little different perspective on this. And what I did is I actually raised my camera up just a, a, a little. If you'll notice, there's trees behind the ridge line of this barn. And what I didn't want to do is shoot too low where there was a tangent, where the top of the trees were hitting uh, just above the top of the ridge line of the, of the building. And I've got a pleasing composition. I mean, as you can see, our white flowers are more to the right-hand side and our building's more to the left. Now, we're still shooting directly um, into the shadow, which has given us that sense of depth even though the flowers are, are fully lit. And it's, it's giving us a very, very nice composition. And if you look into the shot, there's a tree in the right-hand side in the back. And then, of course, the field that surrounds it. it. What you want to look at is how that composition plays into your main subject and how it leads you into and through the shot. That's really important. Let's take a look at this finished image and move on to the next shot. All right, we're going in a little bit different direction at this point. 
um, I'm actually set up on an old house and as you can see um, it's just an old uh, slapboard house that's out in the country and lots of interesting characteristics about this house that we can shoot what we're going to do is focus on the details of this house um, it's not the most picturesque location but the details are what we're going to be focusing on so things like windows textures the way the lights affecting different areas of the house um, the old chimney has some really nice bricks maybe we'll shoot some uh, images of that the point is is that when you walk up on a scenario like this what you want to do before you shoot a shot is walk around the house look at how the light is actually affecting that particular subject in that location and find the best opportunities uh, to photograph a subject like this so with that said let's find our first shot okay we're moving on to our next shot and the thing that attracted me to this was the aqua blue and the light blue with the contrasting white and old paint I really like what's going on here now this is full frontal light our exposure has changed uh, to 1 25th of a second at 16 14 and f18 so I did the three uh, or the one-third stop bracket but at the same time I am giving myself an opportunity to have an image that I can work with when I get into post-processing now I'm gonna do a couple of shots on this and I'm not sure at this point exactly which one I'm gonna use for the finished image but let's uh, go ahead and shoot this and take a look at that finished image okay once again geometric form what I've done is literally get down on the ground now what is this this is at this old house well this is an old sink base that's actually sitting on the back side of the house that's all rusted and weathered and the light really makes that color pop now I like the shadow that's dropping below the little drawer and the handles really makes this image you know stand out and the color combination between the white and the faded and the rust is really powerful um, the thing that that makes this shot interesting is the lines between the drawer and the doors and the shadows all of that comes together to create your photo design and your composition that you set up on this is really critical in a shot like this so with that said let's look at this finished image On the back side of this building, uh, there was actually a back door and a little porch that's all weathered and as you can see at the bottom of the boards, um, it's where the water is run down and actually faded the boards and rotted them out. And again, geometric form, what we're doing is using our composition to create um, a pleasing image and we're using the elements within the scene to actually do that. Now I like the contrast between the bottom of the frame and the actual white and that's I think the thing that really attracted me to this and I see this as being a black and white shot too so when you're looking at uh, an image like this for black and white look at the dynamic range of the image look at the blacks the midtones and the whites and make a determination you know am I gonna process this in black and white am I gonna process it in color am I gonna do a recolor how am I gonna actually process this image be very deliberate about what you're shooting and how you're going to shoot it because it's all based on how you're going to finish the image with that said let's look at this finished image I think you have a pretty good idea of how to shoot an old building and an old barn the important thing to remember when shooting this type of subject matter is to pay attention to the details Pay attention to all the characteristics of that old building or that old barn. The lighting is really important. Your perspective and your composition that you create will make or break your image. So with that said, that brings us to the end of this video tutorial, and I look forward to our next.